Hello, IED students. Uh, I am going to walk you guys through how to create your assembly for this week's final uh, part of the project. So in Onshape, you are going to see a list of all of the parts that you made. You guys will have five. I'm only going to use three, but you're going to use the same methods. Okay. So to start our assembly, we're going to go to Create, and we're going to go to Document, basically creating a new document. We're going to call this Assembly. And when it creates an assembly, uh, it actually creates a part file for the assembly by default. So to get rid of that, if you guys look here down in the tab area, it has a part and then it has an assembly. We only want to focus on the assembly part of this. So you guys can just click there. Okay. Uh, and then the next thing we need to do is import the parts. So to import our parts, you go up here to insert. And when you click insert, you're going to go to other documents, my on shape. And when you do that, you should see the list of your parts. Okay. So to bring our parts in, we're just going to click our parts. And it's going to bring up the versions that you had. Most of you guys should probably only have one version of your part. You might have two depending on how you know you, you built it. But we're just going to click it one time. And as soon as you click it one time, left click, uh, it the part should pop up. Okay. So what you can do then is move your cursor around and place it. And then use your scroll wheel or your trackpad to slide out and give yourself a, a visual space. And you can kind of do what you need to do. All right, so to bring in the other parts, okay, we're going to go hit the little arrow here to go back. All right. Now, most of you guys are going to have this version or this little window here that says about a version issue. All, right. All that does is it needs to modify the version that you made to accommodate an assembly. So you're just going to create a version. So click that. And this window pops up. You can rename it if you want to. It's really not necessary for what you guys have to do. So you can just click create. And it'll bring up your part. So again, we're just going to click it. Okay, and it brings up our part. And we can click and drag. And, and we're going to do the same thing with my last part here. It's going to give me that same window. We just create a version for it. Click Create. All right. All right, and then we'll click OK. Click our green arrow. Now you're going to notice when I click the parts, I tried to click them in the orientation that they're going to go together. If you guys did not do that, that's fine. That's it, it, You're just going to need to do probably a couple more clicks to get your part orientated the way that you needed to to put the pieces together. Okay, So to actually mate the parts together uh, and have them fixed, what you're going to do is up at the top, there's different kind of what are called mating features or joining features. So the first one here is called a fasten mate. And that's probably for most of your objects is what you're gonna wanna do. Basically, it a face touches another face and it kind of glues it together. So I'm gonna click this one. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my yellow part to the red part. All right. So knowing where that's going to go, I'm going to put my cursor over the area where I want it to mate. Now, you're going to notice it kind of highlights that area, and then it gives you this kind of red, blue, green uh, orientation icon here. That is going to be where uh, or a point reference so that you can connect it to the other part. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to want to move. Right, so you notice I move my cursor, that orientated part, little icon, is moved to a certain spot on that grid. So if I put it here, okay, that just means that that needs to match up with wherever I made it to. So if I click that, 
Okay. And now I want to click and I want to join this to the yellow piece. So I'm going to rotate my part around. All right. So I want this piece here to line up with this piece here. Right, because I could move it and I could have it connect to this corner, or I could have it connect up here, but I want to make sure it's lined up in the exact same spot. So you're kind of mirroring where you want that to go. So to mate it, again, I'm just going to click this face and I'm going to get that orientated icon where I want it. So it's in the middle there. So as soon as I click that, right, they'll fasten together. And I can click OK. All right, and then again, if I'm I can rotate around and then the way you know it's connected is I should right be able to drag the pieces and then they should all be locked together when I when I drag that out uh, to get my second fasten all right um, so let me just show you guys that if I click and drag the red piece right you're going to notice that both the red and the yellow piece go together so that's how I know that they're locked together if I didn't one part would be moving the other part wouldn't so this last piece, this green piece, is going to go, you can kind of already see, it's going to go in this corner and down in there. So there's a couple of different ways I can fasten this. You just got to find a face that's friendly, that's going to lock it in. Uh, so I'm going to do a fasten to this face here. And I'm going to go to that corner. And I'm going to lock it with this face in that corner. All right. And then now all things are together, right? And if I left click and hold on to the part and move it around, you notice that all three pieces go together. So to submit the piece for your portfolio, again, just like last time, you guys are going to share the link with me so that we can look at what the assembly looks like. Okay. Um, the other thing we want to make sure of, and when you guys do your screenshots, is we want to make sure that the parts are actually going to be able to go together the way you orientated them. So to do this, okay, after you get all of your pieces together, you're going to create an exploded view. Okay, so to create the exploded view, over here on the side, on the right-hand side, down here in the corner, this third tab down, it has exploded views. Okay, so to do this, right, you can actually create your cursor and we can move this in a little bit. It doesn't have to take up the whole space. Um, and you can actually move this piece, click this button here, and that's gonna miniaturize that. So here, what you're gonna be able to do is we're gonna add an exploded view. Okay, and we're editing the exploded view right now. So what's gonna happen is when you click on a part, so if I click on my yellow piece here, it's gonna give you an X, Y, Z directional arrow and that's gonna allow you to drag the part. It's still constrained, it still has all the mated features to it, but it's gonna allow you to drag it into a certain direction. So to do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this one out kind of in the X direction here. So what I do is I, I find my cursor, I'm gonna highlight that arrow, I'm gonna click and hold and then it's going to allow me to drag it out. Okay, and then it shows you how far you dragged it out. I would say three or four inches away from the pieces is probably pretty good. All right, so I just click OK. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other parts. So I'm going to click that piece there. All right, I'm going to click and drag it away. Click OK. And then I'm going to click and drag this piece up and click OK. So you guys will have your five parts kind of exploded view out. OK, when you guys do your assembly view, right, please make sure that you give us a nice orientation that we can see all five parts easily. OK, and then um, once you're here, this is before you guys click done you need to take a screenshot from this because as soon as you click done, it's going to revert and all the pieces are going to go back together. So you would do a screenshot of the five pieces apart like this. So I would do a screenshot here and then you click done. 
and then the parts go back together, and then you can do another screenshot of the parts all together. So you're really doing two screenshots of the assembly component, right? You're going to do one with it all together, and then you're going to do one with it in the exploded view. Okay. All right, that's it. Enjoy. Uh, have um, If you guys have questions, please let Ms. Blanford or I know. Please make sure that you guys read all of the instructions in the, the portfolio template to make sure that you include all of the parts. Okay. But again, if you guys have questions, please let Ms. Blanford or I know. All right, have a good week, guys.